Welcome to the very first UFC 277 Fighter Showcase. Today, we're using Anthony Smith. There he is. Anthony Lionheart Smith. Looking like a pit bull. <laughs> hey, I can say that. I can say that. I have the same I have the same type of face, okay? I have the same type of face. I can absolutely freaking say that. So, oh, this is going to be a crazy one. <laughs> this is going to be a This is going to be a crazy crazy matchup. Let's get it. My opponent is using Vitor Belfort. And we have met each other multiple times before, so this should be fun. So, Anthony Smith He's had a interesting go at it. All right. So far, everything's coming from my man's left side. But he's starting to switch things up, though. All right. That is something to definitely pay attention to. That wheel kick. And he's already, he's already trying to mix me up. Careful. Players will do that. You know, they'll go to the head with the wheel kick and then they'll go to the body with a spin as well. So it kind of gets you, kind of gets you flustered. Like, oh, which one is it? Where is it going? What I will say to, like, right there. See that? What I will say to that is, you know, you got to pick your poison, boys. You cannot block them all. You cannot, you can't read them all. So. Sometimes you might just have to uh, take the take the shots to the body, man. Because those wheel kicks to the head will do you in quick. Anthony Smith ran into John Jones trying to trying to capture that belt. And of course, John Jones dominated the fight you know it's just one of those fights that like people consider to be very lackluster so you know just because John Jones was not like he didn't stop him I'll just put it that way you know you can't even say John was not dominant in that fight he was absolutely freaking dominant in that fight but just people you know expected him to go out there and, and just 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 maul him just stop him you know finish him Good. After that one, I believe he ran into uh, Alexander Gustafson. On your back. Ran into the Muller and, uh, Rina could choke them. It's like, can I sit this man down right here? Nice head movement. Another one. And so, my man looked like, you know, he really looked like he was, he was just right on track. Right on track to start doing well. And then he ran into Glover Teixeira, who, in that fight, man, like if you go, if you guys go back and rewatch that fight, he was almost trying to implement a similar game plan to the game plan that John Jones implemented, or that John Jones uses, where he's throwing single strikes but keeping the strikes varied very high and also keeping a very high work rate. That man was going, going. I mean, the first round he threw so many freaking strikes. No combos, just singles, but over and over and over and over. And he pretty much blew his wad. Oh! And Glover Teixeira, of course, being the veteran that he is, patient, took his time, and uh, got him out of it. You know, I'm going to start using uh, the, the elbows right now. This is something that Anthony Smith does very well. There you go. We start using these elbows. Uh, okay. Wheel kick. I knew it. 
Sitting down. What? Oh, what, what was that? Yeah, the rear elbow, but from standing. Like that. There you go. He blasted Rashad Evans with those elbows. And he was also throwing those elbows against Glover. So interesting how, like, before he ran into John Jones, he was actually known for his clinching. He was a very strong guy, like a very uh, very skilled in a clinch. And, you know, ran to John Jones, and John Jones showed him the levels, of course. Like it always like he always does. You about to eat that elbow, bro. If you're gonna Steve stand in front of me right there. Come on. Sit him down. Oh, you are so lucky. Okay. That elbow is right there, man. It's right there. My man, you are making great. And there it is. There it is. Oh, yes. I got to use this character more. I need to definitely use Anthony Smith more, for sure. In the light heavyweight division, of course, where, you know, you're, you're, I'm generally using John Jones or, you know, Izzy or some of the fighters, but I need to start using uh, this guy a little bit more. Anthony Smith, for sure. That was interesting. Very, very interesting. Let's move on. All right. Fight number two. Thank you. Let's see. Now, I actually, um, OFG... Yeah, this dude that I'm fighting right now, I have fought him before. Um, he uses John Jones better than like a lot of, I'll just use the word bums to describe them because that's just the way they use John Jones, man. They know they, they throw knee elbow over and over and over. Now, this dude will occasionally start trying to mix you up with the, with the spin to the head and the spin to the body. It's only a matter of time before he starts doing it, but uh, it's he's just not as bad as some other ones. Nope. So I can actually have an enjoyable experience fighting his John Jones. The way he's going with these jabs, he's looking to spin on me. I just know it. I just don't know which one it'll be. There it is. Okay. So, so uh, I'm going to see if I can demonstrate. There you go. Sit him down. Demonstrate my point for you guys right here. When you know they're, they're going to start doing this, cycling between the spin to the body and the spin to the head, just you might as well take the body shots, man. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, anytime I see him spin, yeah, I'll take the shot to the body. Nah, I'm not gonna hit. I'm not gonna want to head kick you. I already did that. I know you're. I know you're waiting for that. There's a beautiful question mark kick. Yeah, see how I'm. I'm just taking the shots to the body. My hope is just that he doesn't. Like I can avoid a lot of them to the body, so that my body does not just get butchered too fast. But right there, he's rocked. But those ones to the head, we have to block. He's looking for it again. You could always tell. You could get the vibe. Yeah. Uh-huh. The good thing about the good thing about that attack he's throwing with the jab is is that he can throw it from very close distance and players will start like players will take advantage of that because they know you're not freaking thinking he's going to spin to your head while he's in boxing range. Oh, but he can. 
Nobody can. Keep that in mind. He can literally perform the move from here. From boxing range. Once he throws the jab, he can turn around and spin right to your head. It doesn't require doesn't require him to uh to, to perform it from kick and range. It's so important to keep that in mind, man. It's so important to keep that in mind just so you don't get caught up completely off guard. He's looking for it again. I just know it. Rocked again. All right. Sometimes I can I can see that it's going to the bottom. Like if I clearly see he's about to jump up, I know okay that's going to the body. Um, it's hard to read, but sometimes I can. <clears throat> he's looking to spin again. Ah. Uh -huh. There's a spin. Rock again. There you go. Stacked. I love ground and pound from stack just because there's pretty much no risk. Honestly, like you can do a lot of damage from stacked. But there's really no risk, like, you know, if he if he frames on your ground and pound, the most that's going to happen is, like, you return the feet on hip. Look at that. I like that. That's the beauty of, about that is that you can actually slip it. But it's so fucking risky, bro. It's so risky. You want to pull on pull, bro? It looks like you're trying to do it. It looks like you're trying to do it. Yeah. Let's take those shots to the body. There's one to the head. Yep. Probably start lunging in on him right now. Oh, whoa. Whoa. That one caught me off guard, bro. That one really caught me off guard. Backward moving sway into a cross. Okay. Oh, my Lord. Please don't spin to my head. Okay. Pull on pull. All right. I see you. Okay. Okay. There you go. I believe you let the block go right there because there's no reason that should have bled through. Let me look at the replay. My guess is he, he let the block go. Yeah, he did. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know why, man. You see me uh, attacking you. Just randomly let the block go and sat him down. Thank you. Pull on pull. Just like that. Yeah, I can tell. I know what you're doing, bro. I know what you're doing. You were standing right. At, you were just too obvious, brother. You got to you you know, you got to you got to try not to be so obvious with what you're trying to do. When you when you're standing so close to me and you've already tried to pull my pull earlier. Oh my god. The way that oh. Ugh, the way the flying knee bleeds chases you when you're trying to freaking please goodness I hope this match does not end up like those matches where I'm getting all these rocks I'm sitting them down but I just can't quite finish them I just can't quite close the show and then he ends up getting me
Do not pull on pull again, bro. I'm watching you. There you go. Please, let's get him out of here. Come on. Yes. Thank you. Yep. Slip that. Boom. Got him out of there. Whew. I was getting worried about that fight, to be honest with you guys. Because I've had situations before where I'm just rocking the opponent. I'm sitting him down. I'm, I'm hitting ground and pounds. I'm doing everything, man. But, like, I just can't close the show. And it generally happens when you're using a higher rated character. I find that happens so much to me when I'm facing um, uh, pure Yan. It's like you can beat the shit out of Yan all day long, but he just keeps wiggling his way out. And eventually he gets you. It's just such a... It's so annoying when that happens. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. i um, going to try to make sure that this is uploaded in the morning. And then later... Later, I'm going to try to see if I can uh, upload a Magomed and Kalaev, um for you guys because that is that is his uh, his opponent. Anyways, leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys later with a brand new one. As always, stay safe. Peace out. Have a good morning, boys.